Hey guys, so we're on our way back from Memphis, Tennessee, and we stopped on our way down here and dropped off my trailer with these feed troughs on it at a friend of ours house here in Tyler, Texas. <laughs> And as we're heading home, we're hooking back up, and it got me to thinking about these feed troughs. We're gonna set these up in our new little feedlot pen that we're getting set up at the house. And, and these cattle that are gonna eat out of these over the next few years, they're gonna come here to get all of their nutrients, everything they need to grow and develop and to be what God has intended them to be for us. And it got me to thinking about how we ourselves need to feed our souls feed ourselves every single day so that we can grow and develop into exactly what God wants us to be. The only way to do that, guys, though, is to get into God's Word, to read God's Holy Word, to read your Bible. Um, you know, it's not the same listening to it in the pickup while you're driving. I mean, that's a great way to do it, but you're not fully focused on God's Word when you're listening to someone else read it or someone's version of what it means. Even just watching me on a Sunday afternoon explain something out of a piece of Scripture, that can't be your only source of feed. You have to go to the trough every day, just like these steers are gonna have to do. So I encourage you to get you a Bible and start reading it. Um, everybody asks all the time, what version of the Bible do you read? What Bible do you like? We read the New King James, but you can find, if you like a King James version, get that and read it. Whatever it is, get you a Bible and start reading it. I promise you, you'll be filled up just like these cattle are that's gonna eat from these troughs. Guys, remember, I love you, God bless you, and y'all keep praying.